everyone. I'm Karen Hansen, RTDNA's Membership and Student Programs Coordinator. Today I'm going to show you how to submit an entry for the Student Edward R. Murrow Awards. First, you'll need to go to our website, which is rtdna.org. Then you'll click on the Submit Your Entries Today bar here. Uh, you'll be brought to our awards page. You can also get here directly at awards.rtdna.org. The first thing you'll need to do is sign up for an account, so click sign up here. Go ahead and enter your account and contact information, including creating a username and password. Once you've completed your account and contact information, go ahead and click Submit Registration. Now you're ready to log in and submit an entry. Go ahead and input your username and password that you just created and click Log In. You'll be brought to the entry form. The first thing you'll have to do is choose a main category. For the student awards, click the drop down and scroll all the way to the bottom and click Student Edward R. Murrow Awards. Uh, information about the rules and eligibility, if you haven't read it already, uh, will pop up here. Make sure you read it and follow these instructions closely. Next, you'll scroll down to the subcategory area. We'll be offering three awards this year. Overall Excellence in Audio, Digital, and Video Journalism. I'm going to practice submitting a video entry today, so I'll select Overall Excellence Video. Keep scrolling down and you'll uh, get to the uh, Entry Information section. Uh, we ask for Region here um, because for the National or for the Professional Murrow Awards, uh, entries are judged first by Region. This isn't really relevant for the Student Awards since they're going to be judged only at the national level. But if you want, you can click locate your region and select your region. Input the title of your entry piece. I'm gonna choose Karen's awesome entry. Write a short description of what the entry is about here. And make sure you include the date that the uh, piece was published or created or uh, appeared on um, a website or uh, other broadcast site. Then you'll get to the entry name uh, area. Um, it says underneath that awards are presented to the organization as a whole. That's true for the professional level murals. Uh, for the student murals, they actually are presented to an individual. So make sure there is one name and one name only here. This is the person uh, who will be considered for the award. Next, you can fill in media organization. Uh, this will probably be your school or your station. Keep scrolling down, and here you'll select uh, whether you'll receive the member or the non-member price. If you're not a member, go ahead and select non-member. Um, you can uh, choose to become a member, um, and you will receive the member rate you can sign up for membership at rtdna.org. I am going to select member uh, and show you how the membership validation works. I'm going to put in an incorrect email here just to show you what happens uh, if data doesn't match up. So my membership was not found. Um, and if this happens to you, but you think you're a member, you can uh, email us here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my correct email address uh, that's saved in our membership system. That's a common problem. So I've input my correct email address and I'll click validate. So it's found my membership and I will receive the member pricing for this entry. I'll make sure my contact information is filled in correctly and hit continue. Scroll all the way down. And this is the area where you'll upload the actual entry. Um, 
for video, audio, and digital entries, we strongly suggest uh, that you include a hyperlink. Um, you can also include additional documentation if you need to describe um, your role in the piece or any background information. Uh, you can do that in the file upload section here. Um, but the main portion that the judges will be reviewing is this hyperlink area. Um, so your piece should be hosted uh, on your website or YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, um, whatever website would be appropriate for your piece. Go ahead and enter your uh, link here. I'll make a note that uh, if you're, you copy and paste a link and it says HTTPS, the system uh, has a quirk and will not accept it, just delete the S uh, and that will solve that problem. Go ahead and click this is my primary submission and hit submit link. You'll see a uh, link uploaded successfully uh, notification. Scroll back down and hit continue. At this point, you have the option to review all of the entry information that you submitted. You cannot go back and change this information once your entry is submitted. So please review it very carefully before you continue to the submission section. Go ahead and click add entry to cart. So you must uh, provide payment uh, for your entry before it is eligible to be judged. Uh, you may continue adding as many entries as you wish, but before it is officially submitted, you must go to checkout. This is where you'll enter your credit card information. There is an option to pay by check. However, for both the student and professional Moros, um, we will not accept checks unless they are for uh, award submissions totaling more than $1,500. So if you're submitting many, many entries, we will accept a check. If you're submitting just one or two, please do uh, use a credit card here. Just fill in all your credit card information, and then you'll click Confirm Entry. Just a reminder, entry information cannot be changed once you click Confirm Entry, so make sure that that information is correct before you click Confirm. And that's how you'll submit your Edward R. Murrow entry. You'll receive a confirmation email. And if you submitted your entry as a non-member, the uh, non-member rate also includes a year of RTDNA membership. And I will be following up with each of you to make sure your membership is created. Thanks for entering this year's Murrows and good luck.